Eat your beans and shut up. Hello everybody, this is the Giggling Conservative, and remember, laughter is good medicine. <laughs> Let me talk about YouTube shadow banning um, and Twitter shadow banning. And... Um, stifling conservative speech. Now, what shadow banning is all about is when they shadow ban you on YouTube, the videos that you put up or shadow ban you on Twitter, uh, what they're trying to do is lower the responses that you get uh, to what you uh, upload uh, in hopes that you will go away out of frustration. Well, they haven't met anybody as tenacious as me yet because they can shadow ban. My responses can be real low and I will never stop uploading. I will continue to do it. And the reason that they shadow ban is because uh, I'm a Republican now, but I used to be an independent voter. And when I was an independent voter, I would listen to both sides. I would listen to the Democrats, and I would listen to the Republicans. And based on what I heard, I would make a decision as to whether I would vote Democrat or whether I would vote Republican in any upcoming election. So if they stifle conservative speech, then... What they do is they fix it to where that independent voters only hear one side and they're unable to make an informed decision. But I will continue to upload. I don't care how low my responses are. And uh, that's just the way it is. Uh, I am on Gab now. And um, that is a uh, Twitter alternative, and they do not stifle Democrat or Republican speech. Uh, they allow uh, both sides, and they don't shadow ban or anything. So that's what I wanted to say at the moment. And uh, I'll probably add to this post as you know time goes on. And uh, not done yet. Another thing. I started a new hashtag on Twitter and Gab, and it's called Hashtag Eat Your Beans. And <laughs> it has to do with the migrant caravan. So, hey, make that hashtag viral. Hashtag Eat Your Beans. Eat your beans and shut up. <laughs> and one last thing before I sign off. When I was young, when I was a kid, my parents used to tell me, and other adults used to tell me, you need to eat what's on your plate because people from Honduras would love to have it. Well, they lied. So from now on, Instead of telling your kids, eat what's on your plate because people from Honduras would love to have it, here's what you need to tell them. Eat your beans and shut up. <laughs> You've been watching The Giggling Conservative, and I always remember that laughter is good medicine. <laughs> Eat your beans and shut up. When you